This time on Reality Renovision. We're leveling swamp rats out here. 800 square feet outdoor living space. Like that. I know, but you're just so amazing at what you do. Yeah, I would love to see. Don't butter me up, it works every time. Oh, wow. I want to do the top of the very end so it doesn't collapse on my head. Sure, thank you. Oh. Welcome to my beautiful backyard. I've got a house on a corner with a one acre property. More like a swamp this time of year. And in this video, we're gonna show you how we're gonna turn this into a beautiful backyard oasis that we can actually use. I don't think this house has had a single permit since 1880. Wow. Hey, shovel? Yes, sir. I'm gonna have to open all this up. This is the fun part. Oh! Woo! Holy crap! <laughs> that seemed dangerous. 800 square feet outdoor living space. <laughs> Perfect, every time. <laughs> Well, it's almost springtime here in Ottawa. It's early April, and for us, that just means ugh. <laughs> it's wet, it's inconsistent, it's still cold. Cold. Maybe 40 degrees if you live in the States. We're like three or four for us here today. <laughs> it's nasty. It's not exciting, but it's the perfect time to plan. So we're out here taking a look at what's going to be a beautiful backyard oasis. We need a plan that it's we can stick time. to and not change it. Yeah, I know. I know. Ah, oh, so. <sighs> okay. What do we do? I hate the tree. I already called someone. He's coming to rip it out in a couple of days. Yes. Good. <laughs> Executive decision. Um, on our other channel, we talked a little bit earlier in the year. We had people do the poll mm -hmm. about a hot tub or a pool. Yes. It was a 50-50 thing, right? Right. So here's the thing. We were thinking about doing a custom hot tub, and at the end of the day, it's like, man, the, the, the code requirement to get that yeah. approved up here is crazy. Yeah. So if I lived in Alaska, I'd build one, because there's no, no building code. <laughs> but out here, no. And to build a pool, again, there's so many code requirements, and then this really shrinks your market for who you can sell a house Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Because up here, we only use a pool six, six, eight weeks a year anyway. So I'm thinking, to heck with all that plan. Yeah. Let's just stick with... Huge outdoor living yeah, space? Yeah, a huge outdoor living space. At least we can use that three seasons in the year. Exactly. Okay, so we got to gut all this, clean out all the organics. Yes. Grind all the stumps. Yep. All the cedars are going. Fill it all back up with some brand new clean fill. Yeah. And then patio stone. Oh, <gasps> patio stone. Right, so we'll do one huge patio. Coming bring it straight around. from the door, right? Right from the door, bring it around. And here's what I'm thinking. I want to have a sweeping curve. Yes. Right over here, pick up the his and her sheds. Oh, yes. So that we can he stay out of the dirt. Oh, he she the sheds. he she shed. <laughs> I'm tired of in being in the dirt. I, I'm tired of throwing plywood on the grass just so that I can get back and forth to my car. Yeah. We're, we're living like swamp rats out here. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm going to get Matt to rip out the pool because I built the pool. For me. I put the pool there a few <laughs> years ago because it was hot. Yeah. So I got a free pool on Kijiji. We stuck it in. Yes. Matt and I just did it in one day. I know. It's and I awesome. threw it over an old stump. I know you're not supposed to, but I cheated. I figured if it lasts for a few years. Enough of breaking the rules. Enough of breaking the rules. We're going to do this one right. Yeah. We're going to clean this up and make sure that it's done solid. We need some heavy equipment in here. A lot of work to do. The what, deck. What do you want on your patio first? Well, first let's talk about the deck. What part are we removing? The, the whole extension. The whole extension. Yeah, it's all in the way. We'll move the stairs back over, right? Yeah. We'll have a little sitting area up there. We'll finish off That's the exactly three-season room. That's exactly what I was going to say, yeah. Um, ay, a ay, place ay. to sit, chill, yeah. have a beer on and a it, hot day. And then inside the screen and porch will be us away from the bugs oh my gosh, in the summertime. Yes, absolutely. And then huge patio. Yeah. Maybe a lounge. pseudo outdoor kitchen like lounge area. I don't know. I don't know. Definitely a barbecue. Of course. Definitely a somewhere to cook. Yeah. Definitely a fire feature of some sort. <laughs> so we can enjoy it in the spring <laughs> and in the fall. Right. And I'm thinking I might cheat and get the hot tub anyway, but it's gonna be like a hot tub I just buy and stick it in. I'm good with that. Right? We had a discussion the other day. It's yeah. perfect. Okay. Yeah. 
That, that saves a lot of time. With all the funky lights and stuff. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm in charge of that. Uh, You're getting, in charge of yeah, cracking I'm, the hot I'm tub. Gonna get the, all I'm right, gonna good. Get I don't want to know yeah. nothing about it. Um, I'll get all my mechanical people to hook everything up. Perfect. And then I just need to know how many areas and what kind of functions you want. Any roofing, any overhead protection, any sails? Like, what are you thinking? Absolutely no sails. No sails? No. You want to have like I a... want electricals out here so we can put... Um, um, you want lights? I want exterior lights. We want exterior lights. Yeah. Okay. Fine. You like old-fashioned posts? Like arms on it? I'm not too sure. No? I'm not too sure. Okay. So we need, we need tubing for now. Yes. Do we need a landscape architect? Yes. See, a lot of times my wife just says, go ahead, honey, build what you see in your head. But not this time. No. No. She wants to know the end before the beginning. And to be honest with you, when you're going to add mechanical and other things like that, it's not a bad plan to have a real plan. We need a real plan. All right. So I'll go down to the landscaping office and I'll contact somebody. I can't go down. <laughs> can't go anywhere. It's phone or email. I'll, I'll find someone on the internet yes. to help us out. And I'll measure this off and we'll get an actual plan. Oy. And then I'll get you to sign the plan. And once it's signed, there's no changes. No changes. All right. It's a deal. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe? We'll see. Maybe. Stay tuned. <laughs> well, welcome to day one of our backyard renovation. Yeah, this is still springtime in Ottawa. Where we live, uh, it's very unpredictable, shall we say. So we went from sunny and warm and thinking spring was here to another douse of winter. So it's no big deal. It's just a sprinkle. It is really cold here today, though. Ah, man, I'm missing Florida about now. We are going to be ripping out the pool today. In a couple of hours, the landscape crew is going to show up and they're going to be ripping out all my cedar hedge, doing some stump grinding, and of course, cutting down our trees. So we had a lot of work getting done today. It's a little early in the season for this, but since they're available, we figured let's just get it done and out of the way, because as soon as the space is cleared up, we can finalize our plans and envision the space properly. You know, just having a drawing just doesn't cut it. You really need to open things up and be able to see things finished. Oh, let's get at it. Okay, Matt, so we're gonna put the pool in the garbage bin. Um, all the railings put near the front. We're gonna open up the back door, the aluminum base. We'll roll it up roll and then we'll roll there. it in. Yeah. Cause it's really heavy and it's one piece. All right. Let's do it. Very cool. I'll see you on the other side. Oh yeah. By the way, these are all Robertson, eh? They're not Phillips, but I'm making it work. So. This thing's right here, it's already got an afro. It's definitely not ideal, but if you push hard enough, it'll work. Whenever you can find your fasteners and remove them, it's a lot easier than pulling out a sledgehammer. Oh, there's the sunshine. Here's a quick tip that'll help you if you're taking things apart. You'll see the wood swells over the head of the screw. So if you just undo it, that's fine. But watch what happens here. It brings the whole board with it. The secret here, the secret here is to undo the screw till the head's clear of the wood. Then you take the other screw out. That way the screw is still holding the board in place and it'll come free. But now that the head's out up here, it'll come out without taking the whole board with it. That's money in the bank. <laughs> I 
Uh, we'll go to the bottom first. Okay. I want to do the top at the very end so it doesn't collapse on my head. Sure. Thank you. Oh, Maddie, that's not funny. I need communication. Uh, yeah, go. Oh, wait. Oh, you're doing that one. Well, at the bottom where we were, yeah. I thought you were talking about the bottom bottom. All right. Uh, yeah, I changed the plan just for fun. Oh, there you go. Well, that one's stripped now. Congratulations. Can you uh, get a hold of it and push and tell me when you're ready? I'm ready. Oh, that's... Okay. Communicate. I'm get ready. Ready. I was, I was on the last one still. Dude, just one at a time, eh? Yeah, we're good. Just like we've been doing. Let's go. I'm not reinventing the wheel as I go. Why is that all over the place? I don't know. I'm, I'm still holding on to it. Okay, hold on to it and push it into the bottom. Yep. Ready? Hold on. <laughs> all right, go. Yep. Well, we just burrowed through another one. Okay, let's do the middle. What are you doing over there? All right. That actually worked. We're going to just have to beat the living crap out of that thing before. All right, so what do we got? We got two at the bottom. No, oh, sometimes the best tool is a hammer. Straight down on it, rip it off the head of the screw. There you go. There we go. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take off the ladder now. Cut the hoses. Are we cutting the hoses or are we just gonna undo them? I'm gonna cut the, the hoses clamps? off. Just uh, unscrew the ladder, pop it off, and then we can collapse this crap and get it all out of here. Sure. Oh, you know. Oh, yeah, it's just a little bit cold out here for this, eh? All right. smell the chlorine. So the story behind this pool is this. We used to just have the little deck and uh, a few years ago the summer was actually really quite hot. So my wife said, Jeff I need a pool. <laughs> Go get me a pool. So I jumped on Kijiji and you know it's funny because there's lots of people who will give you the pool for free if you just come and disassemble it and pack it up and take it away. Very similar to what we just did here only we don't destroy anything. Imagine that. I brought it here, I had a dump truck come by and drop off a, I don't know, one yard of sand from the landscape company. And we, we did not follow protocol. This is not leveled out. We just sloped the edge a little bit so that, you know, the liner wouldn't break. But there's a stump underneath here, somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where. <laughs> I gotta find it, because I got the guys coming to grind stumps today. Oh, wow. This is not easy to move after all those years of that water sitting in there. Holy crap. <laughs> I have no idea where the stump is. I just know there's one here. Let me know when you find it. <laughs> right? I have a sneaky feeling. I'm gonna be uh, finding it when we get the heavy equipment in here and then I'm gonna have to rent the stump grinder myself. How big of a stump was it? Uh, about the same as the other tree, maybe a bit bigger. There it is. Okay, well you just earned your money for the day. Yes, sir. Have a great nap. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think you got it right? A hundred percent I did. Oh. That's sand? Yeah. I should have put money on that. <laughs> I got to actually expose it the We're right. Come on, help a brother out. <laughs> now we got to get rid of all of these mounting plates here. They're attached to the 4x4 from underneath. So we got to unscrew all of these, move all the bars, remove all the extra hardware, and there are a few posts that are structural. They'll go right down to the footing. So we'll remove everything else first, then we can get all the deck boards off. I got a great tool for that. Yeah, then we'll disassemble the rest of the structure. Try to save as much of the structural lumber as we can here. Might be able to use it to help build my shed. What 
you find? Go get the birds. Dog always gets loose as out right now. Think the thing is uh, tied up or no? He's a good boy. It's pretty cool. That, that pipe was full of ice. And then as it started to thaw, it started to drain out. <laughs> That's kind of neat. <sighs> well, it's a disappointing day. The sun disappeared, we're getting clouds. Just had a flurry out here just a few seconds ago. Nuts, nice and windy. Well, Maddie and I are gonna rip the deck apart now, and try to get the rest of the structure out of the way. Um, the idea here is we used a camo screw, which is uh, a screw that attaches just off the side of the deck board. And the head is really small and the wood's grown over. We'll never be able to use a screwdriver to undr undrill all this. Oh, the sun's coming back out, nice. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna rip it all out. We don't have a whole lot of choice. We're gonna be here all day long fussing around trying to use a drill if we did. But I got my hammer and I got my deck remover board tool here. This is from Crescent Tools. And if you're interested in buying one of these after you see it in action, you can just go to our website, go to the shop with us. We've got all of our affiliate links there. Hit the international tool link. You'll be able to find it. It's a great tool. And I'll just show you how this bad boy works. You find yourself a joist. So now once you slide in the joist between the boards, you just rock it and it pops right up. Like it's almost too easy. This doesn't even require any strength. So if you need to resurface your deck, this will do the job. There we go. Oh yeah. Is it, is it colder now than it was earlier? Kind of seems like it, eh? Well, yeah, the sun's gone, eh? That is way too easy. Boom. Anybody could do this. Holy cow. You know, when I first got this, I just didn't know if I was gonna be happy. I used to use my big red steel bar, but this allows me to work on the safe side. The red bar I had to stand on the floor joist before. This is easy. Two and a half bucks a piece? That's all I had. You're not even thinking about the price of the budget. Actually, I saved myself money because I would have had to go shopping otherwise. <laughs> wow. You can see we uh, built box beams here. We've got these videos on our channel. Just use these huge carriage bolts to hold all the weight, which means that every joist is sitting on top of the lumber. That's the load transfer there. So we use screws to fasten it together, which means they have no shear strength which makes the demolition process really simple. You can see that the structural screws, they hold just as well, if not even better than the nails. The thread really holds tight on that wood. That takes an incredible amount of force to rip apart. What a great way to build. I had to use a sledgehammer to rip this apart. The first few shots, it didn't even budge. Caught my finger when it pulled out. Well, there we go. That's pretty much the end of our day today. Uh, day one. Day two, they'll be back. They're going to be finishing off a bunch of the hedge and then stump grinding, which is awesome. So, 
you start to see the, the space and what we got to work with and how much actual light is available here now that, that tree's out of the way. This outdoor living space is gonna be awesome. Anyway, just quick shout out to Max and the crew. Uh, Max is tree service if you live in Ottawa. Good group of hardworking guys. Nothing like a bunch of guys who don't mind getting dirty for a living, eh? Cheers. How did things go with the removal of the pool? <laughs> <laughs> who was there with you? Just me and Maddie. Uh -huh. Max was there to film. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, the pool, when I mean, we took that out just fine. That was no big deal. Um, it was the it was the deck area yeah. that I had built around the pool. Yeah. It was a problem. Oh. It's getting late in the day. It was cold, and I'm getting old, and I don't stretch like I should. I think I threw my back up pretty good. Oh no. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 I over muscled myself. You know, sometimes we always think when we're 50 that we're still 20. It's just not <laughs> the case. So I'm 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 pretty stiff and hurting. I'm gonna be able to roll back to set customer for a while. I think. Okay, so we got the hedge gone, we got the stumps ground down, we got the pool gone, we got the deck gone. Good couple of days. Now here's the plan. This is called marking paint. It sprays upside down. So what I'm gonna do, just to help visualize the space, I'm gonna go and draw all the lines with my handy little tool, and then I'm going to draw in all my features that I kind of originally had planned in my mind. That way my wife can come out, take a look, we can talk about the plan, make adjustments that are needed, but. My wife is a visual person. She needs to see it. So I gotta draw it all out so that she can have an opinion. Because until I do that, I don't know what she thinks. That's hard to see, isn't it? I'm thinking I marked off too big a space. I'm thinking... That's really huge, because this is like right now, it's 50 by 25. That's fine, because Remember my concept, Kate, hold on. Let me just that's, get down that's there. That's over a thousand square feet. That's huge. That's bigger than her house. Yeah, I know, honey. <laughs> I like the size of it. Yeah. It could go in a couple of inches right? in if you want it, however. If we can make it work in 40 by 20, yeah. that's 800 square feet. Right, okay. So, like off the planner? I like your idea there. Cause, like honestly, babe, I know that's not exactly square. That's fine. Like around here. I love it. That's about the, the 20. Okay. That makes the driveway more driveway. However, okay, so, and then we're gonna do the stone here. And what I would like it is if I'm on the stone and we do one step up to the lower deck. Step up? Yeah. From here up to uh -huh. there? Uh-huh. Just one step. Okay. So how much is a step? Is it six inches? off the ground. Give or take. I haven't picked the paper yet, and, so I'm not sure. And then and then uh, um, another step onto the second platform. There's a second platform. Correct. Because down here, wouldn't it be nice to have the eating area? A cute little patio area? Well, yeah, well. And then eventually we're going to have the stairs going down to the pavement here anyways, the stone. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay. So we need to pick a stair location? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to go through I my- I hope my... I'm not confusing you. Huge. I'm gonna go through my Sorry. original vision. Yeah. My original plan. Yeah. And then, then I want to hear yours, and then we'll figure it out. We'll compromise. Because my plan was one level, right? Because it's simple to build. Quick. <laughs> right? 800 square feet outdoor living space. Like that. I know, but you're just so amazing at what you do. Yeah, I would don't love butter to me see. up. It works every time. Okay. Um, uh, so, if I had one level, I'm not gonna dig down and then put in a patio. No, correct. I was yeah. gonna just clean off the organics, and this will all be raised up off the ground a little yes, bit. Yes, I know. That way we can put in a new layer of, of gravel for the driveway, right? We can backfill the property and add soil and get drainage working properly. So we, it's gonna be about the right height. We can put in one stone step to go to the door. And then over here, we just put cedar stairs coming down off of the, the new How cedar deck. How many steps off of that? Three, maybe four tops. Can we go two step to one platform and then to the lower platform? Okay, but then we have to really work out all the functions. 
As soon as you start adding different heights. I can answer that. You change all the dimensions of all the operating areas, right? So we need stairs first. Yes. Okay, work with me, Max. Okay, first, can we agree the stairs shouldn't be as wide as that? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Do you want stairs at this end because it's traffic flow to me? For me, that's a, that's, that's a sitting area if I put the stairs here. If I put the stairs there, You're right. that it does becomes, open it up. That becomes traffic area. Right. Right? Yes. Okay. So stairs here. Yeah. Four steps, it's 40 inches, four feet. Stairs. Okay. Ah. Did I get you? I think you did. <laughs> okay, so one, two, three, oh. four. That's fine. The fumes. So now I'm on the patio. Yes. How high up? Off the ground. I'm not worried about that Talk yet. Talk to me. Where do you want to put the outdoor kitchen okay. barbecue area? Right here. Over there. Yes. Okay. So can you imagine eating area here? Oh no, that's different. Eating area is different than a kitchen area. One step at a time. Okay, so we're going to do eating area over there? Yeah. How many people are we setting that up for? I would say comfortably five. Five Up people? To five. So one big round table? Yes. So if this is one round table. Yeah. With chairs. Correct. What are you looking at? It's about a 10 foot round area. Okay. Can you hold my paint? Just yes, don't pull sir. the trigger. All right. <laughs> so I would want to go I dedicate like 12 by 12 Kay. for a table of chairs. Okay. Bare minimum. All right, yeah. so that means I'm going here. Oh my, now Chair. he's showing off. Nope. Oh! Need a new can. <laughs> That's excellent, Jeff. Just, just shoves in there. The idea of five chairs doesn't really work for me because we have four kids and three couples Ooh. is six. That's a big chair right there. That's an area for a chair. It's a cute little flower. Right? But that's kind of, One, two, that's the three, space four, you need. Five. It's five. That's I mean. comfortable. Comfortably, yeah. So there's nothing going on here. Let's build it like a retaining wall. I love it. Okay. I don't want to get too many walls involved here. I know, I know. You start getting I'm, excited. I'm, I'm building I got things a again. Wall. I'm happy with I'm that. I'm building things again. Okay, so then where are we cooking? And okay, one okay, how far out does the deck come right here? Right, hun? You're you're creating levels again. But don't <sighs> do that. What else do you want out here? We need a barbecue cooking area. Barbecue could be right here. So you want to just have a, a cute, this little cute little barbecue corner? Yep. Nothing too extravagant no. then? No. Okay. I think there's plenty so of room. So if we put a barbecue here. Yep. That barbecue. is plenty of room. <laughs> okay, barbecue. We, we don't want to do like some elaborate, massive kitchen because we're selling the place. Yeah. That's somebody else, yeah. Decide okay. if they wanted that. Okay, fine. So we got so, cooking, we got eating. Yeah. Um, can we talk about that section now? Yeah. How are we going, where are the stairs going to be to the stone area? Well, that all depends. Do you want this at the highest or the lowest elevation? Lowest. Okay. So then you want to have a step up. Now, this is so, the stairs going to the house. Stairs. So this should all be at the same height. Yeah. So that'll be entrance here, five feet. Yeah. Nice and wide. I love it, Jeff. Okay. Traffic. This is a retaining wall. Yes. Going down that way. Yep. And I think at the end of that, it can pick up the fence. Absolutely. Want to put a small fence off the corner? Yeah. It's more of a wind block, but that gives us kind of a storage. This area does need okay. wind block for sure. Okay. So. <laughs> Whoo! Retaining wall. So then this could become a step down. Exactly. Now the traffic can do, I don't know why I'm doing this, but. What? Talk to me. I'll show you my vision for this, ready? Oh boy. I, oh, so this is gonna be set in stone now that you're oh, using spray paint, Jeff. Yep. Oh God. What the heck are you doing? That's the step up. It's crescent. You got Ooh. a round table. You have a round walkway heading to the stairs. Nice and wide, but then this all becomes, right? Right. You like that? <laughs> Bartender. <laughs> okay. Can you uh, draw in our stairs over here? So there we go. There we go. Very sexy. All right. Fill it in with base and then we'll do the second layer. Okay. 
Now on the second layer, the question is, do we do the hot tub over here? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then what else? We have a lot of patio. What else do we use? You know, uh, you know, you have the option to put a cute little bistro set out here if you wanted to. So we're gonna have a sitting area, a sitting yeah, area, and a sitting you know, area. Yeah, options. Everyone wants options. It's more like a sun tanning beds behind options. the retaining wall and a fence. So privacy. privacy. Oh my God. I don't know. We've been around for a long time together, you and me. Makes sense. We'd have the same opinion once in a while. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. So if we did that, I need more sexy. It's too, still too simple. I need lights and I need, I need evening. I need people coming over. I need, I need fire. <laughs> Talk to me. Well, if I want three zones for fire pit, Sunning. Actually, you know what? The sunning chairs could be up there. Absolutely. This place gets full. So we could full put fun. a fire pit here. Yeah. We'll do like a fire pit right here. Love it. <laughs> fire is nice. Do you want to have like actual fire or gas? Gas. All right. Yes. So gas pit there. We're doing retaining wall. Yes, sir. You want retaining wall all around? Is that necessary? Or maybe a step off into a, into the garden. We're gonna raise the, yeah. the ground and have nice grass there. Yeah. Because uh, I had another thought. Oh I know. I'm never stop. I put in a gate yeah. with a trellis. Yes. And let the cedar hedge. Oh. It still got access for it. the neighbors to visit, but it still says call ahead. <laughs> so right? True. Like <laughs> nothing wrong with calling ahead. And then we can fill in all this depression area here. And then we need a lot of backfill, right? We got the whole yard, the whole. Yeah, because I still got to fix the whole drainage issue to get to the creek. Like cedar goes in so fast. True. We got to bring in a couple dump trucks for the berm anyway. We might yes. as well build a berm from here all the way around. We can get it all to one height and then we can fill in back to that yeah. and then it creates an automatic ditch. Right. Great plan. OK, this is coming together. <sighs> all right. And at least we have an entrance out of the dirt because then I don't have to I don't have to do anything over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. See what happens when we both discuss this uh, all at the same time? And this is a lot different than I originally thought. But this way I don't need a retaining wall here. You're welcome. Because I got privacy. <laughs> but if I put one over on that side, yeah. on the whole driveway side, uh -huh. it kind of kills a lot of the breeze. Mm -hmm. But it also gives me the ability to run gas out to it and put in some linear fire features. What do you think? Love it. I make it myself. What? Yeah. No? Okay, well, Maybe? okay, one, one step at a time. I'm gonna lose this battle, aren't I? One step at a time. Uh, I just lost that battle, okay. I got my little fix of playing with my toy out of the way. <laughs> we'll get the young lad in the bucket. He actually knows how to use this thing, and so he's gonna excavate and take care of all of this mess for us. 
All right, buddy, it's all yours. Listen, we, uh, we're gonna have a lot of fun this week. We got this thing for five days. So we're gonna try to transform the yard as much as possible while we have it available. Whew, what a lot of fun that is, eh? <laughs> was I flying around pretty good? Oh yeah. <laughs> The first step in, in fixing your lawn is understanding your soil type. Now, in the back corner over here, we had originally put in a volleyball pit for the kids, and all we did was just order a couple of dump trucks of sand and have it drop it off, and that was it. That was a problem because there's too much sand in one spot. So what we did is we raked it all out, and then we had to put in a next layer. Now, the next, next layer, we actually just bought some clean fill. Now, that's a fancy term in the aggregate business for dirt that's been removed from somewhere so they can put in a building foundation. Usually it's dirt mixed with clay, mixed with a little bit of brick and stone, some tree roots, and they have a sifting process. And you can get different grades of clean fill. Some is cleaner than others. <laughs> you never really know what you're gonna get. The point is, it's dirt cheap after you get that all raked out. It's just a matter of eyeballing your property. Take a step back, have a look. Our property had a really bad bowl, so we actually had to bring in four truck loads of dirt, right? Yeah, we brought in four truck loads of dirt so that we could get this bowl all fixed up, and now it's all been raked out. So what we're gonna show you is this awesome homemade rig. After you're done raking, now my neighbor actually put this together. This guy's a genius. It's just a chain link fence, some four by four posts, some cinder blocks tied together to keep the weight down. And he just drives around the yard. And what it does is any big rock or tree root that's sticking out of that clean fill gets ripped out of the dirt and then he can collect it afterwards. And we're left with a surface that looks like this. That's just awesome fun. Now, if you don't have a toy like that, you can use a garden rake, but on a big area like this, it's nice to have big toys. The next step is grab your skid steer have a load of topsoil delivered. It's a different material because this is sifted and cleaned. There's not gonna be any dirt or weed seed in there, generally speaking. So it is a really nice top dress and that's how you prepare for seeding your lawn.
All right, so here we are continuing on with our backyard program. Now he's hooking up his final little tool. He, he's a smart kid, he made this at home for himself. It's just a four x four bolted together with a chain on a chain link fence system. He's gonna ride a lawn tractor, zip it around and it'll pull. It'll catch all the chunks and rocks or whatever else might be, still be in that dirt. The reason he's using a lawn tractor is because apparently it has a less, smaller PSI, which is like pounds per square inch, than a human foot. So he can actually drive that around without compacting the dirt, which makes it ideal soil conditions for adding our seed and getting a good result. So we're gonna see how heavy this tractor is. I'm gonna have him drive over my foot. And you know me, I don't wear safety shoes. So this would be a great way of knowing. I'm gonna put my life in your hands here, Alec. All right, this ought to be interesting. I'm not, I don't know if I want to use, oh, wow! That wasn't bad at all. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that doesn't hurt as much as when one of my kids stands on me, that's for sure. All right, very cool. The point of that is that he's using a special tractor to do this so he doesn't compact the dirt. So there's perfect conditions for growing sod. This is kind of like going fishing, you know? We gotta pull all this stuff out of the net and see what we found. So we got, wow. We got sticks and grass. Man, oh man, that really gets caught in there, Alex. Some landscape cloth. Wow, that's the way to rake. <laughs> all right, so now all we gotta do is get our seed out here. <sighs> because of the time of year and the amount of heat that we have, we're actually gonna wait. We got a couple options. We can have somebody come out here and, and they can spray the lawn down. They got special techniques and technologies for that. But you know me, I'm too cheap for that. I'm gonna wait till later in the summer when we have some cooler nights so that we can seed then and water occasionally and let the weather generally bring in some rain and take care of my yard. If I get a yard out here by the end of September, I am more than happy. So I'll just be patient. I had fun with the skid steer. Mm. It was a heavy equipment day. We had a lot of dirt to move. Okay. Um, I'm the wrong guy for that job. I, I turn into a little kid when I get behind the wheel of that thing. Yeah. I'm dangerous. It was <laughs> I can good. picture it. It was good. I, uh, I had, I had our, our neighbor up the street, he came down and gave us a hand with some of that. Nice. He, he was much more, how shall we say, respectful to the machinery. Uh -huh. and, and he understands the concept of landscaping better than I do. Uh -huh. He's going to be a farmer. Okay. So he's been in training for years. And uh, so he was a lot of help. Good. So cheers to Alex for helping out because yeah, so he saved my life. How much, like what kind of square footage are we talking about? It was well, like close three, to... three quarters of an acre. We had to regrade, we had to fill because we had a swampy area. Ugh. We had in total um, eight dump trucks. What? Yeah, we did four just fill and then four loads of topsoil to create the berm and the new yard. So yeah. We took a house that was on a corner mm -hmm. without much drainage and it was more of a bowl. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And then we filled it all up. Had and to fill it, yeah. So it's good. So that's, no more a lot of work. flooding issues. No more, no more water issues. Yeah. Problem solved. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. And a dry basement. Next time on Reality Renovision. He's got to use the roof to pull himself up. Wow. That is a slippery roof. No traction. I know it looks a little sketchy, but the reality is, that's the job. This is still safety second, right? Like, there's no such thing as safe here. It seems like every time we're doing a major project outside, it, we pick the hottest day of the year to film. 